Hi, I'm David Stewart. I'm an engineering manager at Intel Corporation. To work in, as part of the Open Source Technology Center, we're working to make Solaris and Open Solaris really work best on the Intel Xeon processor. We want to make sure that Xeon is the best platform to use for you if you choose Solaris or Open Solaris. And one of the big areas that we're working on is in the area of virtualization because you know, we've looked at data centers and the trend is for a lot of servers in the data center to not be very uh, greatly utilized and so there's a uh, you know in fact average uh, utilization for a lot of servers is only maybe about 20 percent so based on that we've done a lot of work on the area of virtualization to, to really give this uh, uh, some great capabilities to you and so we want to tell you about what we're doing with open solaris in that space so to, to do that i want to introduce ashok raj ashok nice to meet you hi dave ashok's a uh, kernel development lead here at intel in the uh, open source technology center so ashok uh, first what is virtualization well, Dave, uh, you just mentioned that there is average 20% utilization on a single server. Now, if you were to consider that, you know, you, virtualization basically permits you to consolidate a lot of those mini servers and think of them running in a single box. So you can imagine this is probably your database application, this is probably your mail server or a web server application. Now you have, you, you have consolidated all the 20% apps into a single machine and providing you a much more you know, cost-effective and a power-efficient uh, uh, work, work, work environment in your yeah. data center. Yeah, that sounds great. Well, what is Intel doing to uh, improve on virtualization in the hardware? Uh, Intel has a very holistic approach uh, to, to improve virtualization. One is we have actually taken some of the aspects of what the VMM needs are and put extensions in the processor. We call them as virtual machine extensions. Uh, and we've been working extensively with the Zen community to enable a lot of those technologies. Uh, another thing we have also analyzed is to take a look at how NIC or a networking device I.O. happens in a virtual environment and there's lots of overhead associated with that. We've introduced a new technology called virtualization for directed I.O. which permits a, a guest operating system, a guest image to directly own an end device. Um, now let's take a look at some of the uh, a, a sample diagram actually here. Yeah, so this, we, is, this is what's going on in the operating system, right? For exactly. So we have two devices for here, you know, A and B. They have their own associated buffers in kernel. There's also some OS and kernel data structures. Now in a reliable operating system, you would need to protect some of the data structures in the kernel space so you know, a device driver doesn't really go and, and muck with the data. Now, when a device actually tries to perform a DMA or a directed memory access to transfer data to, to the system memory, it can only do on areas where it is authorized and permitted to have access to. Thereby, and, the, and the hardware makes sure that that happens. In, exactly. So when a device attempts to, to corrupt some of the main memory data structures, we basically flag the error and say the operating system, oh, there's an errant device in your system, thereby you, know, you, can, you can stop those accesses upfront and have a much more secure operating environment. That's great. That's really good. So we're used, taking the best of what we've done with Zen, which we've been working with for years, as well as the best of what we're doing with Open Solaris, and the combination seems like it's really powerful it, in that it's, sense. It's pretty good. That's fantastic. Fantastic. Thanks a lot, Ashok. Thank Appreciate you. it. So, uh, you know, I, there's a lot of opportunity, I think, uh, for you to get involved with this. And one of the areas that uh, is very important for you to do is to get involved with Open Solaris. So, go to opensolaris.org, um, join the uh, Intel Platform Project, which is sort of an umbrella for a lot of the work we're doing for Intel, and then also the Zen community within Open Solaris, and you can take advantage of this in a number of ways. You can download the code, you can check it out on your uh, system, your Intel system. Um, you can also join the mailing lists, uh, join the discussion, look at the source code, and make improvements, make contributions, uh, really, and, and as an open source uh, project as, uh, both for both Zen and for Open Solaris, this is a terrific opportunity for us to work together as a community, as a very strong community, to really make these capabilities terrific in the data center. So now, I hope that you'll join us in uh, making this area of virtualization great, and we're looking forward to your participation.